Good morning, another dog walker video. And today we will discuss the merits of a working pedigree or working test for your dogs. So first of all, everything, every dog should be uh, merited on its own, on its own benefits, on its own excellence, instead of just uh, because he had good parents, for example. So a working test will tell you about your individual dog. And this is a good sign. However, there are also benefits of a working pedigree. And why is that? It's not only what your individual dog is doing. So for example, you have dog A and dog B. And both perform equally well in uh, the working test. Which would you prefer if dog B A had a working pedigree and dog B it has a show pedigree? I will tell you, dog B has something very spectacular because contrary to the pedigree that he has, he has true working ability. Whereas dog A it has just the working ability that comes with the pedigree. That being said, very often, more often than not, you can have a little bit of luck. So, if the, the dog that has a show pedigree is there from luck, then you might be far better off with a working pedigree dog with the same performance. So, why is that? Because in the case of the working pedigree, your dog has has all these generations being bred to work. So the portion of luck is diminished as compared to the show pedigreed one. The other thing is, you might say, yeah, but the show pedigree one has all this work ability despite being a show bred one. So we can improve on that. And you might be right. You might very well be right. But it could also be the other way around. <laughs> because the working pedigree has been inbred a little bit too much and the show pedigree might have a lot of heterosis that it has had that lucky click in this case and if you want to breed more uh, generations you will be far better off with the working pedigree one and why is that? because they've been bred to be workers for all these generations and the lucky click is far less and if you also give a working generation type of dog a little bit more heterosis between by crossing it with another working line that's not related, you will wind up with far better dogs to begin with. And the thing is, there might be far better individual dogs, but perhaps do not inherit those traits as strong. And this is more in particular so for the showbred one dog. That being said, so the, the working test shows the working ability of that individual dog, whereas the pedigree shows the working ability of a line of dogs. And if you have a line of dogs that has uh, performed under harsh conditions, it will tell you that they are robust little buggers that can really do the, the job instead of just a lucky trait, a lucky trait that has popped up. And there's something else. It could be that the working ability at that specific time point is similar between the showbred and the working bred dog. But perhaps if you would strain it a little bit more and have multiple tests after each other, the working bred dog also is bred to do this for generations. To keep working at a good pace, good strength. And that could be completely different with the showbred dog. So you could have a lucky draw and then a drawback whereas the working bad dog working pedigreed dog with the same performance will be a lot more continuous hope this helps have a great day dog walker out all the dogs that you see here are petted terriers also known as the black fell terrier have a great day ciao